What's up YouTube? Just want to make a quick video talking about my intentions with arm wrestling with the sport, kind of the direction I'm headed and what I what I intend on doing, my approach, my mental outlook as far as competitions go, my training goes and how, how I'm trying to progress. And I just want to say thank you guys for checking out all the videos. My channel has been growing almost at 150 subscribers right now. So that's awesome. I'm going to be at 200 soon, hopefully. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Videos come in very consistently. So I have a tournament coming up soon and this will be my third arm wrestling tournament that I've done. But for this one, it's the first pro tournament that, I've, that I'm going to be doing, pro slash open class. Basically, anyone can compete in it, but the competition level is significantly higher than the amateur class, which is basically intended for beginners of the sport. And I'm almost two years into the sport now, the sport of arm wrestling, taking it more serious as opposed to just, just lifting weights. Kind of when I first started arm wrestling, I was one foot in the door, one foot more into bodybuilding and just trying to get stronger in the gym. But now I would say I'm at the point where it's like 100% focus on arm wrestling. So I, I can say that my, I've gotten a lot stronger as a result of that, you know, just more, more training, arm wrestling related training and more focus on that entirely just instead of other things or trying to be a jack of all trades. So my intentions with this tournament is just to go in there and do my best basically, I mean, just try my hardest. It's gonna be the pro class. Uh, I feel good. I feel strong. I just want to have a good time. I just want to get experience. Like the I've I've been wanting to do a tournament for a long time with the whole Corona stuff going on. There hasn't been like really any tournaments in California for the past year and a half, which is unfortunate because I've been absolutely training hard for arm wrestling the whole time, and I think the tournament will only help me improve more just to get that experience in that ready go situation and to arm wrestle different people with different abilities in that competition setting as opposed to just practice because practice and tournament is totally different and so that's why i'm totally looking forward to this this tournament the pro tournament you know and man i just i can't wait you know and i after this tournament i want to compete as soon as soon as i can you know if there's other local tournaments somewhat soon. I want to do them because I want to be as consistent as possible for me. It's not too much a matter of winning or losing. I'm not putting too much pressure on that, on myself for that whatsoever. It's just, I want to, I want to improve. So I'm, I'm thinking long-term when it comes to this really. And I, I just love the sport. I love armors. It's fun to me. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm hooked on it. So I just want to improve. I want to stay consistent. So that's like my main intention. The one unfortunate thing about where I live in Bakersfield is that I basically only have two consistent training partners for arm wrestling on a weekly basis. And it's crucial to have, I would say, multiple training partners who are using different techniques, have different strengths, because then you can work different, different positions, different angles. And that's why I kind of have to get out of Bakersfield. I have to drive out of Bakersfield to get to arm wrestle other people, which I, I want to help me improve. And I can, I can say that that going to other practices with and pulling all sorts of different people has helped me improve a lot. So that's why I try and do it as much as I can because just pulling the same people, um, you can only go so far with that, I, I, I believe personally. You have to constantly increase the challenge by pulling with different people with different strengths. Um, but other than that, I make the best of what I can where I live. Um, you know, I'd like to get more table time in. Like, ideally, I'd like to be on the table three to four times a week at least, um, or even even more potentially. And just to wrap things up on my intentions with arm wrestling, I just want to kind of summarize basically that my intentions are for long term progress in the sport and improvement. And I know that's going to take time. I want I want to get a bunch of tournaments under my belt, a bunch of pro tournaments. So this is going to be the first one, and I'm ready to just get it fucking started, get it going, get moving, arm wrestle different people. There's going to be some absolute beasts at this tournament, so I can't wait to watch it in person. I'm going to film some of it, and obviously I'm going to have some matches as well. So that's going to be fun, you know, with the the increase in in skill going up to the pro class. It's gonna be some some serious competition, so I love that. You know, I love the competition. Very competitive person, so it's gonna be fun. You know, I'm gonna improve as a result afterwards. I can see no matter what the result is. That's the way I'm looking at it. It's a win-win situation either way. So, those are my thoughts. That's my mentality. And thank you guys for watching. 
My channel has been growing, which is awesome. I'm gonna stay consistent with it. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't. More fucking videos coming. <laughs>